Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jared Defiler and welcome back to a patient gamer who plays Divinity Originalist in 2 with the new NVIDIA update that made me restart my computer for the first time ever. Hopefully it's not going to mess things up because the last NVIDIA update kind of did. Um, I forget where we are because it's been a while. I mean, we're in ARCs, I know where we are, but like I forget where we are quest-wise. So I think we were going to... Do the Lord Kim stuff, maybe try to get into his basement. I know who you are. He's in here, so we haven't talked to him yet. Maybe that's the way to go. We'll start with the Lord Kim. I did want to see the doctor. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think it was the doctor. I don't want to level up to level 20, though. I didn't do a whole fight, I think, last map or last video. But, you know, let's go see the doctor first. We'll do Lord Kim later. The doctor's more interesting. Well, it's all interesting. Look at that fountain. Gorgeous. I need to mod this game. Once I once I do this playthrough, this let's play, I think I'm going to start modding Divinity because I never actually put mods on it before outside of the bag ones that are already in here. Gift bag features, but I think that just comes with a definitive edition. Pet power. Enhances a summoning class and its infusion spells immensely. With this mod, you can cast infusion spells on all available summon, not just your own incarnate. Wow, each summon receives different stuff. That's cool, but we're not going to do that one. Because we want to just uh, do kind of a vanilla run. Like most of the stuff I have on here is kind of quality of life. Or stuff that just makes it uh, more you know, sensible, I guess. Like kind of sleeping restores your source points and things like that makes more sense to me than the original one where you have to like go and find a source vat and everything so you can barely use your source abilities unless you really really like prepare for it in advance which I mean you should but poison arrow get some money yeah, five, like 500 gold in there break down this grave is unmarked okie dokie so let's go check the outskirts of this area first the doctor's little mansion Get that creepy music playing in the background. Always nice. Like this. Well, I spotted something. Oh. What do we got here? A skeleton, of course. I'll take a cursed flask. What's this? This book is unreadable. Great book. Yeah, I'll sell that. Where's that squirrel? I want to talk to the squirrel. There you are. You come for miracle. Do you need fixing from the doctor, man? Plead with the squirrel to slow down, take a breath, and explain what's it what it's talking about. Not to the building. What's up with this place? Uh, number one. The doctor is in. Doctor is in. Doctor is in. He's in. He has the tricks, the gifts, the healing ways, the dealing ways, the d -d -d dark ways. <gasps> breathe, 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 breathe. The doctor is in. Doctor is in. Doctor is in. <laughs> so good. Nod to the building. The doctor. He treats, cures, helps, haunts the sick, the ill, the needy, disease, hurting, sad, happy, healthy. His house, the Black House, the Doom Doctor Miracle House. Ah, man, this voice actor is so good. I always just imagine, like, the voice actor in the booth, like, the sound booth. <laughs> just, like, what they're doing, dancing around or whatever. Um, brings a tear to me. The amount of effort that these people put into this game is just astronomical. Yeah, I never knew this was here. Again, every time I play this game, I find something new. Alright. Let's move back here. There is an area that has a barrel in it, which I'll show you guys. Don't know if I can do it, though. The little trick that there is there. Or secret, or... I don't know what you would call it. Yeah. Is this me or does this look better? It's eh, still getting a little bit of like ghosting. That's what I was having a huge problem with with the previous NVIDIA driver and I had to do a clean install on it. Better. Now that I did a new install, the most recent driver, it's it's fine, I guess. Being paranoid. What's this? Probably read these already. 
Yeah. Why can't I click that one? Alright. Nothing else here. There's a chest over there, however. Can I not get to it? Maybe if I go around this way. Or if I do it from the bottom, maybe. I want what is in that chest. Come on. Can I do this? Can't. How am I supposed to reach that? There we go. Path interrupted. Alright, if I back up. I'm gonna get this chest. It's gonna happen. There we go. Beautiful. Watch me get stuck. Skeleton. Nothing there. Armor of Frost Skull. Squirrel. I mean, that's always good. I always use an Armor of Frost Skull. Uh, do I have any other extra ones? I think I do. Do, 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 do. Should. Alright, where's my scrolls? Right there, just look at all these scrolls I have. Holy crap. How many of these do I actually have on here? This is why I usually don't use these packs sometimes, because like I always just forget I have all this crap in them. I have no idea what I actually have on my hot bar, so I'm just gonna put everything in here. Maybe I can actually remind myself to use it because I'm a moron. I'm sure they're already out. Spread your wings, why not? If I can just move multiple times. These can come in handy, very much so. And you are, uh, your scrolls are affected by your um, skill level in that given field, I believe. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So, like, if, if, since I have a lot of um, Geomancer and Pyrokinetic, I think the Geomancer and Pyrokinetic scrolls should be stronger. If I'm not mistaken. I could be, so Hydrosophus and Aerothurge I don't really have much in, so I don't think they'll do as much damage. Summoning Totem should be pretty beefy. And this should be pretty beefy as well, summoning ability. But who knows? Either way, we got all these scrolls. I, if I could just remember to use them, that would be great. Give it a quick save. Alright, let's fly back out of here. So this barrel I was talking about earlier... In Act Two, you pick up the in, when you're you're in the um, driftwood area, the the docks specifically, and you go underneath, which I don't think we did because I don't have lock picking. You have to kind of lock pick your way in, and um, you pick up these scrolls. It's like these orders, like these doctor's orders for tainted fish and stuff, and then you put one of those in here, and then that allows you to basically go into the doctor's basement but i don't think we have any of them no, actually i'm pretty sure we got some i think i just got rid of them because i wasn't planning on going this way anyway um or i just didn't know Once again moron yeah let's see soak 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 mysterious letter cryptic gosh i have so much crap in there <laughs> look at all this Amigarian. Uh, evacuation. Yeah, I, I don't have it in here. Thought I did. Double check. I'm going to load this. Just pack everything in here. Pack everything in here too. Oh, first, let's see if I have the rain scroll up here. I do. But again, I want everything right here. Just put everything on one bar. That way I can just kind of know what I got. All right, and then we'll pack it all in. Clean this inventory up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know where there was it would go. Could I be in there? Can I pack anything in there? No? Yeah, well, I guess that's all I can pack. Uh, I can also pack the keys. That would be fine. Those. Got the painting. Um, how did I pick this up? Okay. 
probably should pack these potions too, but whatever. Alright. So anyways, that's how you can get into the doctor's joint without uh, going through the front door. Lock picking always helps. But there you go. We are going to go through the front door, however, because we are siding with the doctor this round. Normally I don't be... Whoops, sorry. Hitting the mic there. My big, goofy monkey limbs. The door does not open. A creeping sensation comes over you, as if the door were examining you. The doctor is not taking visitors. Tell the door you have an invitation. Tell him the Salaman died at your hand. You've done the doctor a service. Uh, I'll say I have an invitation. I do. Please step inside. The doctor may see you. Perhaps. Alrighty, fair enough. Yeah, we're gonna walk in here. You are in the books. You are invited. Do not keep the doctor waiting. The nurse far. The nurse stares openly at you. His eyes are a pitiless black, like a hungry shark. You, you are known. You are on the doctor's books. He awaits you. Go to him. The nurse hisses at you while you remain in earshot. I can smell your bone marrow. Delicious. Yeah. As you can see, this place is a little bit creepy. And dark. Have a look down there. You can see a bunch of bones. Little, uh, not the best textures, gonna be honest, but <laughs> still. So this is the doctor's house. And uh, it's pretty gnarly. Once you start talking to the nurses and see what's going on, it's pretty crazy, but fun. So let's give this guy a talk to. A spirit peers down at his own remains with morbid fascination. His ghostly form takes on a queasy shade of green. Note that he's quite brave to look upon his own body when it's in such a condition. Ask him what happened. Um, yeah, number one. Well. It's, it's not often you get to see yourself in this state, is it? True. He gestures to a small grey lump nestled within his open chest cavity. That's what did me in. Funny. <laughs> Doesn't look like much. Ask him what happened. I was sick, and I wasn't going to get better. The doctor made me an offer. He'd pay me if he could study my body after I died. It was a lot of gold. <laughs> I couldn't say no. I'm providing more for my family in death than I ever did while I was alive. Go figure. Take your leave. Well, at least he's happy with the result. Now let's talk to Nurse Ray Reed. The nurse throws you a sultry look, offset by a smear of blood around her mouth. Something shifts beneath her robes, the outline of a diminutive third arm. A mewling cry can be heard from her abdomen. She places a hand over it and winks. Wait, start the reactor. That's pretty awesome. Good baby. Richard. Creepy. Be on your way, my lovely. Unless you want to join me for dinner. I'm good. Thank you very much. I talked to this guy again after I left. The nurse gives you a mischievous little grin. Black liquid trickles slowly from the corner of his mouth. Yeah, demons in this game are pretty gnarly. I wouldn't want to be working here. This game, personally. I mean, I worked for the state, and I thought that was bad. There's my The nurse me. slinks right up to you and inhales deeply, then exhales with a sigh. <sighs> you smell unclean. Would you like to be clean? She flicks her long, black tongue over cracked lips while staring unblinkingly. Her eyes reflect no light. They only consume. That's hot. Cleanliness is next to godliness, my sweet. Her face suddenly warps into a rabid scowl. She lunges forward. I'll strop those bones until they glow like alabaster. She catches herself and retreats a couple of paces, her shoulders trembling with mirth. You are a beautiful specimen. I forget my manners. Yes, indeed. Cleanliness. Her face. She you are. All right. <laughs> well, she'll scrub my bones. I mean, that's always cool, you know. 
Villa spots you, then abruptly averts his gaze with a scowl. Don't tempt me. The doctor will be displeased if I have my fun without asking. Go! Alright. I have a feeling I'm uh, not in a very you know, nice place. The nurse rubs his hands together in glee at the sight of you. His palms are slick with some oily substance. Do you faint at the sight of blood? No. He leans in and whispers, his voice hoarse with a desperate longing. Would you like to? No. Don't be a stranger. There's wonderful things I could show you. Oh, yeah? All right. Looking good so far. This place is very, you know, courteous, very welcoming. And here we go with the doctor. The doctor. Oh, yeah. But as you can see, this guy has huge stats. 11,120 physical armor, 13,436 magical armor, and 7,073 HP. So the story behind this is if you have Losa in your party, or if you're playing her, she's directly linked to this guy. I don't want to like give a lot of spoilers and stuff, but um, you have to do some things to weaken him in order to beat him. You can beat him without doing it, but it's really, really tough. I've done it before on uh, a couple of characters, but uh, it's hard. Because he's really, really beefy. And with Losa, if you don't do things properly, he can just, like, kill her instantly. And um, if you have her in... I think you can keep her outside of the mansion, like, far away on the other side of arcs or something like that. And it won't do it, but I'm not sure. Welcome, my friend. Here we go. I'm glad you could come. Ooh, look at all this. Tell me, what ails you? What do we got here? Any cool wands? Good intelligent news. No, I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of that amulet anytime soon. Cool. There's a lot of good stuff, but... The beauty of using the Vulture set is that you never need armor ever again. Unless you're going like a hardcore sorcerer or physical build with uh, melee in it. Something else, but... There's a lot of goodies. Everything, I pretty much own all these. I don't need anyways. Laser ray. Do, do, do. Healing ritual. Do I have any laser scrolls? Probably do. I'll tell you what ailed me. The sallow man ailed me. Like any ally of the Black Ring, he irked me greatly. He was a sickness. And you cured me of him. Not that he probably didn't. Whoops. Not that he probably didn't invite you here to congratulate you. Ask what he wants you to do. Tell him that whatever service you rendered him was purely accidental. It isn't always about him. Confront him about Kim. Was he targeted? Has he? Why has he targeted the paladin leader? Okay, so we got a lot of options here. Um, I think I want to ask him about Kim. I am the doctor. I treat diseases of the body, mind, and soul, as well as the diseases that befall this plane and others. Linda Ken is a symptom of a sickness needing a cure. Shake your head, no deals. Tell him you're listening. Um, crap. I don't know which one I want to do. Let's shake our heads, see if we can go back to the previous menu. Yeah, you may see yourself, oh. Uh, you neglect important patients, clearly. Damn it. The doctor is not. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to reload. So yeah, you have to be kind of careful with him in the dialogue because he'll he'll do that. He'll just like kick you out. So we we are going to do a deal with him because that's the way I decided if we're gonna go. This when I first started this out many months ago, I was gonna do a benevolent like Paragon kind of run from you know Mass Effect style. But uh, if things goes on, you know, because this game's just that awesome, you just change. Your mind changes and welcome, my friend. Now I'm gonna what ailed me. The go the evil route. Like any ally of the Black Ring, he irked uh, me greatly. He was a sickness. And you... The three. Details. What matters is how we align. And we do align. I can help you. I want to help you. Please allow me to help you. Join me in a pact of friendship. 
and mutual cooperation. Okay, so he's obviously an evil guy. This is obviously a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyways for story's sake. All right, so tell him you're listening. The proposal is simple, Godwoken. Find your way into the crypt. Find Lucian's tomb. Summon me. Together, we shall kill the divine. Mm -hmm. Divinity will be ours. Tell him there's some kind of logic to it. Twisted though it may be, there are both sides in all beings, after all. Tell him divinity will be yours and yours alone. So, mm, I don't want to get kicked out again. Alright, so we decided that we are going to side with him, right? So we might as well just go with that route anyway, so I don't have to keep reloading. Tape's coming. So, number one. That's exactly right. Perish the thought that anyone should be all generosity, all greed. The coin must be balanced, or it will forever land on the same side. All chance erased, all potential for change gone. Yeah, I don't trust you, but whatever. That isn't what I want for the realm. I'm certain it isn't what you want either. If we enter into an agreement, we can create something better. Something worth preserving. I'm sure he's genuine and honest. He motions the nurse to approach you. She silently asks for your hand. The doctor nods. So this is probably going to end up being a bad in-game cutscene because <laughs> i'm sure i'm probably gonna get like my soul stolen by this guy or something i i don't know um, it's been a while since i did this route but yeah we're gonna go it anyways because you know that's the fun of it give her her hand ask what she's doing pull your hand away and tell him the deal's off let's ask what she's doing a blood pact requires blood you know that i guess but in a pinch marrow will do too all right, give her your hand. The nurse holds up an empty glass vial. With the knife, she stabs your bony palm. She holds the tip of the knife in the opening and scrapes bone marrow into the empty vial. Yeah. When the vial is full, she takes out the knife and the wound is already healed. Now, doesn't that feel good? Ask him what now? Tell him you need his guarantee. Well... Tell me I need his guarantee as if that's going to do anything. The doctor nods at your own right hand. You raise it and discover that the mark has reappeared. That is your guarantee. When you get to the crypt and you find our friend Lucian, I shall come to call. This is going to be so much fun. Well, that we can agree on. So ask one more question before you go. Please. For you, anything. Confront him about Kim. Why is he targeted the paladin leader? Bring up the pack. Pretend you've forgotten the details. Um, confront him about Kim. I'd think it plain by now who I seek and why. Like all of the God King's apostles, Kem creates havoc. Not just in this plane, but in many others. Bring up the pack. Pretend you've forgotten the details. This is a pleasant game. Of course. Ask away. Ask him to remind me what he wants you to do. Ask what happens if you don't do it. Ask why he wants to be the Divine of the Darkness. Tell him he better show up. Uh, why does he want to be the Divine of the Darkness? Isn't power reason enough? It is for me. Although, I admit, it would solve other problems. Damien, the Black Ring. The world has its ailments. We are the cure. My friend, you are almost a doctor. And see, this is why the writing is so good, because what he's saying is kind of true. Like, the, the way things in this world are going are pretty messed up. So, you know, with Black Ring, Damien, you know, um, like the, just the civil war that's going on in arcs between the, the Divine Order, between the Paladins and the Magisters. It's true. The world is, like, pretty messed up. And he... Like, I mean, you can't trust him, obviously. But at the same time, he's not really, like, wrong. Which is very interesting writing. I love it. Um, ask what happens if you don't do it. Then you die, and I keep your soul. Well, at least he's honest there. Ask him to remind me what he wants you to do. Go to the crypt. Find Lucian. Say hello to the doctor. Become the divine of the light. Easy, right? 
Yeah, we better show up. We've made a pact. I won't have a choice. Besides, that's a house call I don't want to miss. All right. Take it is leave. your leave. You may take it where you please. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We are officially involved in a partnership with the doctor. One of us accepted doctor's pact. One of us be me because I'm the only one here. All right, uh, Nurse Doe. You are favored. I will not harm you. Unless you want me to. Oh, please, Nurse Doe. Or do. I don't know how you pronounce that. Okay, um, now the hard part is trying to get into Lucian's crypt and everything. You are favored. Do as you will. I'm sure I won't regret this at all. <laughs> so. You are favored by the doctor, <clears throat> sweet bread. I will try to restrain myself. <laughs> sweet bread. I like that. Why can't I open any of the doors? The doctor favors you. Go freely. She steals in close and whispers. Daylight doesn't deserve you. Stay here with me. Nice Irish accent. I believe that's Irish. Uh, let's see. Last lady over here. Nurse Ray. Reed. You are favored, my lovely. And mm -hmm. delicious. Oh, I know. I hope I get a nice burial once the doctor's finished with me. All right, uh, let's talk to the last dude here. I couldn't make it in there. This juicy wind-up toy. You, you are our most favored, most delicious friend. Come and go as you will. Alrighty. Okay, so that's that. Now that we are done here. Pretty sure we did everything below the surface. So now the real roadblock is Lord Kim's vault, which I can't get into because I don't have lockpick. I'm sure there there has to be another way uh, because it's a major part of the quest line. Uh, Cat the appraiser will pay Richard for the okay. Uh, past mistakes. We'll meet the mistake at Lucian's tomb. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Karen, he's gonna be joining us too. Up there, he'll lead us to Lucian himself. So I'm going to have Aaron and the doctor on my side. We rescued a paladin from execution. Speak with Lord Kim. Okay. I want to try something first before we go talk to Lord Kim. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. We still have to do the the portal of dreams and stuff like that, which level 19. I still don't know if I can handle that at level 19. I might have to be 20 for that. We can try that. I don't think we'll get to it this video. Uh, but we might be able to get to it another time. So, can't get into here because of luck. Looks like Cam's locked this hatch. On oh, looks like Cam's locked this hatch. On top of submerging it, he must have a lot to hide. Yeah, doesn't tell you. Okay, so I maybe I'm wondering if I can tell his wife that everything I know about him. If maybe she would like give me a key or something. But the problem is, he only talks to nobles, and I'm not a noble. But there is a hat it somewhere. I don't remember where it was or if I already got it. I hope I didn't sell it. I need to do the devourer's thing too. Wait, I'm missing but a piece? Please, tell me about yourselves. I'm missing. Uh, well, love, okay, we were hoping you'd see fit to read. Do you mind? I have guests at present. This is not the time or the place. And you are evidently not the sort I should be consorting with, right. judging by your manners. Oh, nice. So she has these tea leaves, which are actually really, really strong. These, like, negative one AP cost and one maximum AP, you can be cast in spells like crazy when you eat these. So it's worth uh, buying those, but they're super expensive. Not that I can't afford it, I just don't want to. So I'd rather spend them on sorcerer sundries once they hit level 20. Um, okay, so there should be a noble, there is a noble hat in the game that you can find that allows you to talk to her, but I do have, I totally forget where it is. Um, and up here, I'm pretty sure there was there's some stuff in here. Okay, Justinia, maybe Justinia will give me some access somehow. Talk to her. 
Lady Kem has been kind enough to host me until I can return to the kingdom. I vow to take greater care in whom I trust. I must seek to avoid further tragedy than we have already seen. Indeed. Okay. Um. Actually, you know what? All right, no, 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 no. Lady Kem has been okay, so share the news of Kem's allegiance. Linda Kem. All the better that he's avoiding Paulina like the porcine plague then. This rot has infected the very soil we tread and the air we breathe. I must not let it reach the kingdom. Talk about the wedding and the void woke can attack there. Yes. The void closes in. It's so much more dangerous than even death fog. Death fog we can see and smell. The void is empty, intangible. We don't know it's there until its creatures are upon us. It pains me to know the Black Ring preyed on my weakness. My hands are not yet clean of the victim's blood. I will make amends. Somehow. Tell the Queen that Ross is the word for her. Bless his heart. Please, do send... But be sure that. this news remains only with him. He's not prone to gossip, but... Yes? All right. What about them? Get serious, you can't believe she'd fallen so far. Ask what happens next for her. Press her about Isbia. What was her role in the kingdom? She was a scientist of sorts. Already. It was when we came to Arx to prepare. She rarely... Farewell. Let me see. I think I already... Lady Kem has been kind this. enough to host... Yes? What I rebuild. The dwarven people deserve answers. They deserve apologies. They deserve to walk the streets and sing their songs without fearing to offend their sovereign. They deserve a future, a jubilant one. It's up to me to give it to them. Get serious, you can't believe she found so far. mother would do anything for her children. Is Vale convinced me there were bogey men lurking in every corner, dark or bright? My children, the dwarves. I wanted only to keep them safe. It was only a matter of time before the order would come for us, she said. The scouts talked of living weapons nailed to crosses, of blank-faced wizards, an entire force of them. Isbel was certain that destroying Arx was the only way to strike a killing blow to the order. I couldn't see her true aim. To pave the way for the God King's arrival. My mistakes will always burden my heart. But there is time for atonement. She was a Pretty scientist of easier. sorts, or so the town criers chanted. She knew the ways of nature and beyond, and I invited her to court to show me. She healed the sick and soothed the wounded. I saw it with my own eyes. I brought her close. Her words were wise, and her aims... Well, they seemed so pure. It was after Alexander assembled the quorum that Isbeel turned my mind to thoughts of war. Our scouts and spies aided dwarven sorcerers where and when they could, but Isbeel insisted the monks and shriekers would touch dwarven land. When we came to Arx to prepare, she rarely left my side except to tend to her laboratory. I'd no idea what... What atrocities she'd been committing there. Farewell. Okay, so... Lady Kem has been kind enough to host me until I can return. Farewell. She can't help me either. Like, I'm gonna have to look it up to see a diff another way to get into the vault. Or just at least find where that, where that uh, noble hack is. So I can talk to it. To, uh, Lady Kim. Right now, let's go talk to the, the boss, man. Maybe that will give us an opportunity to get into his vault. Don't think I can pickpocket him, because again, I just my thieving skills is trash. I don't have a single point in it. Ah, thievery is it? Zero. I don't even think I, I can access his vault. Yeah, I have to be level 5. It's a lot. Okay, let's talk to him. It was you who sent us the war owl. Without you, the Black Ring-loving Magisters would still be in charge. 
I suppose you've earned the right to involve yourself in paladin business. Just this once. Alrighty. All this is thanks to you, you know. If we hadn't found out what the Whites were doing in the Black Pits, we wouldn't have known that they had to be stopped. I am in your debt. Remember what Captain or Aurel, Aurel said? Ask him if he knows where Dallas might be. You've been wondering about Kim's fault, so you have something to discuss. Confront Kim about the demonic plants in his garden. Be curious about whether he's connected with Black Green, say you have something to talk about. Note that he seemed happy to execute one of his own. Ask him what has happened between the Paladins and the Magisters. Um, I guess we'll just work our way down the line. What? The Lord Dread lies in the harbor, but the Hammer isn't aboard. Nor is she among the piles of Magister bodies. Should you hear anything, you are of course welcome to bring it to me. But rest assured, your help is not needed. My paladins will find her, and she will face divine justice. Alright, but rest assured, your help is not needed. My paladins will find her, and she will face justice. If you can help, you've been tracking her since Fort Dry. He just needs to share them. What he knows, smile quietly. Does he know, doesn't he know Dallas has a plan? He needs to. Uh, not meekly. The paladins are obviously the elite, but surely he knows something. You've saved the city from the boy wicking at the gate, and you'll save it from Dallas. What does he know? Uh, I guess I'll go intelligence. Anyway. Very well. We know that Dallas and the Whites conducted their heresy from these barracks. If they were all working for the Black Ring, and I believe they were, there must be some sign of it in this building. Perhaps even a safe house. We don't have much yet. But we will tear down every brick until we find their wretched hiding hole. And then we'll haul Dallas into the light. That's what they found so far. What does he know about Dallas? Ask him to tell you everything. Thank you for the information. Uh, number two. Who can truly know a diseased mind? She is rotten to the core. That I am sure of. Although much as I despise the creature, I have never known her to be a coward. She fought well in battles against the Black Ring. Wherever she's hiding, she will not go quietly. Ask what he found so far. Not much, at least not yet. Perhaps you'd have better luck given your credentials. The White Magisters were in these barracks when the fighting began, an entire cabal of them. If we find them, we will find Dallas, I have no doubt. They must have left some clue as they ran. Something that will lead us to their secret little den find it thank you for the information i pray it helps void woken at one gate and the black ring at the other we need to stop this madness do you need anything more uh you've been wondering about kim's vault yeah speak then say that the cat appraiser wants to get his artifacts say that you change your mind e should i tell him that <laughs> yeah <laughs> well of course she does my vault is filled with relics from the war with the black ring Armor, weapons, black magic, beautiful treasure. Naturally, a grubby little thief would want to get her hands on them. No matter. She is welcome to try and take them. It would be most entertaining. Front Kim about the demonic plants in his garden. Demons? The shrubbery might look a bit menacing, but I don't think it poses any threat to life or limb. You should direct your inquiries to my wife. A green thumb is one of her few natural blessings. You're curious about whether he's connected to the Black Ring. Say you've something to talk about. And? Out with it. Say that Wendigo told you he was the Black Ring. Kem's eyes turn very, very dark. I cannot count the friends I have seen cut down by the Ring, nor the outrages against humanity that I witnessed at their hands. I am Lord Commander of the Paladins. Guardians of the Faith, Lucian's own. I kill Black Rin. Never forget that. Yeah, that's true. Now, if you're done with gossip, I have things to do. And so do you, I imagine. Uh -uh, he's gonna... You'd better have something yeah, sensible gonna talk to say. Again. Oh, no, um, time wasted again. Note that he seemed happy to execute one of his own. She disobeyed orders. She knew the consequences. I expect she shall receive justice. Weird thing with Kate. <laughs> Ask him what has happened between the Paladins and the Magistash. The Whites have betrayed the memory of Lucian in the most heinous manner. We've had our suspicions, but you provided us with proof. Collusion with the Black Ring. So we acted to put a stop to their treason. The order must persist. 
The order must endure. The Magisters can no longer have power. Power. And what of it? Okay. Quick. I've other matters at hand. Enjoy the city, won't you? Arx is wonderful at this time of year. All right, so I think we're just going to have to go and break into the Magister's little area over here. I already talked to this guy. The spirit of a Magister lingers nearby, scowling at the damage that's been dealt to the premises. Look at this. Just look at this. Our barracks ransacked by our own brothers in arms. And my sworn Magister comrades murdered by them. Say that you found Magister Bront, but he must have succumbed to his wounds. Damn it. That cheapskate owed me gold. Oh, Brent. Ask the spirit if all the Magisters were killed. I got Brent out of here. He was wounded. He wouldn't have stood a chance if I hadn't helped. But hopefully some more made it as well. I came back to see if I could help any others. But I got a saber through the heart instead. Murdering bluebloods. The void's welcome to the lot of them. Uh, that's the spirit where he took Brant. I already means know where he... you. A guarded look on his spectral features. You're no paladin. But why should I tell you? Yeah, reminded me that his comrade is wounded. Time is of the essence. His comrade's dead. I just told him that. So that was a little mix-up in the structure of that particular quest. Claim that you're an old acquaintance of Brant. That's what brought you to Arx. You want to see if he's all right. Tell the spirit that dying must have been a terrible shock. He should tell you what he knows and burden himself in preparation for the whole war. Mark that you're no paladin, as he said. If he tells you what he knows, you'll check on his comrades. Fine. Just check in on him for me, will you? There's a spot around the back, at the bottom of an embankment, where a culvert drains into the river. I lowered him down there, where the paladins likely wouldn't see him. He was bleeding like a stuck pig, though. I don't know if he made it. What's this? I found something. Did? What did that find? Is it? The spirit continues to stand by and scowl at the ransacked barracks. Ask about how this unfolded. The paladins just showed up, no notice, ready for a scrap. They claimed we were traitors and were plotting with the Black Ring. Lunatics, a lot of them. And wonder where Dallas was headed. Ask him if there's any truth to the accusations of Black Ring collusion. Are you mad? They're our sworn enemies. Whatever evidence the paladins think they have is false. And I hope my brethren make them choke on it. Wonder where Dallas is headed. How would I know? She and those whites she surrounds herself with don't announce their plans like town criers. You can be sure of one thing, though. The paladins will never catch her scent. Yeah, ready? You there! Be sure not to obstruct paladin business. We're to search this place top to bottom. Ask if their investigation has been successful. We haven't, but we will. Not that it's any business of yours. Where is Skeez me? Any goodies? Any snacks? Nothing special, just the head covering of a regular citizen. No. See, the hat that I was looking for was like that. It's a noble hat. I totally forget where I have to buy it. Reads two, order of society. Um, all right. There should be a list somewhere, unless I already picked it up, which I probably did, and I don't remember. No, don't pick that up. <laughs> I don't want a 150-pound package. Anything in here? Any any goodies? No? Alright, well, anyways. We have... Oh, wait, there's a pouch over here. Eee, look at that. Fool. Quick save. They aren't even looking at the right spot. They'll never find what they want. Just just rubbish. What did I just pick up? Okay, so I were a blight, where would I hide something I didn't want to be found? We already know it's all under here. But first we want to try to find the code. Careful now, that's trapped. That is indeed a trap. Can't pick them. That is not. Talk to this guy. What's this then? The paladins resorting to bringing in outsiders to try and decipher my work. Yep. He sneers at you. His spectral form bears impressions of severe burn injuries. 
No matter. You'll fail just like them. Ask the spirit who he is exactly. Say that he mentioned ciphers. What did he mean? Demand to know more about Dallas and her plans. Yeah, what about Dallas? My very life's work was to hide key intelligence from the light of both sun and source. What I know and what I have seen shall remain in shadow. That's the spirit who he is. I was the high cryptographer of the Magister Order until the paladins killed me. Coded letters, passwords, security measures, all my creation. Now that I'm dead, you'll never decipher any of it. My work will outlive you all. Remark that the magisters, magisters seem to have set fire to their own building in an effort to destroy evidence. Hardly sophisticated encryption. Ask what he knows about the paladins' accusations, treason, heresy, collusion, etc. Number two. My task was to protect secrets, not to interpret them. But let me say this. The notion that we would have anything to do with the Black Ring is absurd. Patently absurd. And number one. The spirit's smug demeanor gives way to an angry scowl. Desperate measures made necessary by the treacherous actions of our so-called allies. My encryption guards the most important secrets. Does it now? Don't waste your time here. The see my very... Right. Okay, so... What's this? I found something. Ooh, cheese bread. That's what I found. That's totally worth it. So, we are going to look in here. I don't need that, but... Under here is where the magistrate's little hideout is. A combination lock is embedded into the face of the hatch with four numbered dials. The hatch is firmly locked. All right, take a closer look at the combination lock. A sequence of numbers has been engraved on the face of the mechanism. One, three, two, four. Below this are four dials. Each of the four dials bears four phrases that can be rotated into place. The first dial must be set. Step back from the lock. Okay, so uh, it's one, three, two, four. The first dial must be. I should have. I thought I had a paper that ex that um, had this motto on it. Cause I'm pretty sure it's the motto of the magisters that opens up the door. Uh, ominous letter. Target secrets. Maybe I didn't pick it yet. To be the Magister's motto. Magister Memorandum? Is that it? Prepare yourself. I'm about to take your. Nope. It's still old stuff. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I picked it up. Mysterious letter. Shadow Prince's notes. I like the Shadow Prince. It's a cool character. Um. Now, here? Trap. What? 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 Where is it? Okay, well. I think we could do it this way. The plaque reads four loyalty to the divine. The four is loyalty. I'm never gonna remember any of this. The plaque reads two. Society is two. Engraved on the plaque are the words discipline of body. All right. The plaque reads purity of. So let's see if this works. A combination, a sequence of each of the, the first dial so purity must be of clicks. The second dial has the same four phrases to select from. Discipline of body. Clicks once again. The third dial bears the same options as before. Order Another of society. Click. One last dial remains. Well, a final the dial. Then, deeper within the mechanism, the sound of gears turning and a bolt withdrawing. The hatch yields, clicking open. Okay, that was easy. You cheated. <laughs> you cheat it. <laughs> Let's talk to him again. My life's work. Defeated by some nobody. The spirit vanishes. Whether he fled to the Hall of Echoes or elsewhere, you cannot be sure. Well, wasn't that difficult. And I'm really bad at puzzles. So Someone I could figure it out. This place secret. Okay, this is going to take a little while to get through. So I think we're going to end the video here. 49 minutes. So yeah. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys in the next video where we will proceed through the Magister's little secret area here. And then hopefully get into Lord Kim's vault. I don't know if we can. I'll have to look into it, how to do it without uh, the key or unlocking. Pretty sure there's a way to do it. I don't see why there wouldn't be because not everybody is locked. Or deeper in, rather. 
So yeah, you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, depending on where you are. This has been Derek the Pilot Plane, Divinity Original Sin 2. Breakdown. See you guys later.